this little spot offers an interesting trail problem. I'm pretty sure we go this way. Here's what I did before anyway. But the soak tree must have been a mess of some kind. And you have the dead pine tree. But over here on the oak tree, you see a blaze with an offset. So this is some real interesting woodsmanship. You sort of want to deduce from the way the thing was cut, which way it was pointed. Sort of hard to figure out. I think it must have been aligned this way. This is definite vandalism. <laughs> a lot of work too. Geez, that's an oak. Pretty sure. <laughs> so it was like some back breaking chopping. So with a little oh, I nailed this thing too. I remember doing this crap when I was an obnoxious kid. <laughs> kind of playing Daniel Boone. <laughs> given the lack of any other notable alternative and the degree of trail use that this is going to be our reunion with the trail a somewhat grueling descent of a somewhat steep esker side Yeesh, thank god it doesn't last long I think, despite the fact that there's exertion going up, at least it wouldn't be as horrifying as skidding down. And oh yes, there's the place. <laughs> Inviting us to get out on the other side. I think a little breathing is in order. came up that terrifying thing. <laughs> oh, and look, there is another helpful offset blaze. If you're coming from this direction to cover the loss of the one that's now lying in a ditch. So, <laughs> and now we kind of work our way down the other side. It looks kind of mildly frightening. And I think in the home stretch to the VFW parking lot. We'll be coming through this interesting zone where there appears to be paintball activity going on, but it's surprisingly innocuous and if it gets them in the woods, what the heck. doesn't extend very far, though. And compared with Rowley, I've just breathed through this thing. I mean, admittedly, I had the benefit of having been here before, but even the first time, it wasn't all that hard to figure out. Oh, here's a well-indicated turn. This looks like we're hitting a snowmobile trail road or some such thing. I don't know if there's an equestrian scene here.
timid little baby steps, painfully gripping <laughs> the road, then the acceleration, and then the wheezy little fat guy makes it a short distance up the other end. Woohoo! Yeah, I can hear the muffled tumult of suburban and urban life out there in the distance. A fine further glimpse of Mine Brook. I'm hearing a sort of noise that indicates the presence of the waterworks facilities that have graciously participated in this thing. Oh yeah, here's the chain link fence. Cool, we're so in the home stretch. There's some old waterworks iron. Yeah, you go up here. Don't disturb a snake. Nope. And it's kind of similar to Kingston, only cooler. You follow the ch old chain link fence. A lot of poison ivy at some point, I think. There were cool mushrooms along here too. Took photos of. And it's already changing color. Then you turn around. See, there's more of mine, Brook. Some fine color. Color, color everywhere. That's not a lot to think. Looks like the thing's running a little low. And there it is. This is great. <laughs> the water departments that are involved in this have become some of my favorite town participants and a number of their employees are reasonably knowledgeable. They're kind of interested, maybe running a water department gives you a predisposition to being alert to terrain and watersheds. Who knew? Oh, nice. There's the indicated terrain. We'll go through a short patch of suburbia and in order to respect the privacy of those who have 
generously consented to put up with our sorry asses. I'll shut the sucker off and renew it when we hit the next patch of woods. <laughs>